Bonjour, hello, welcome to Max Mountain World. Today, lunchtime, all is quiet. They're all stopped for lunch, obviously, and uh, this is the works. More videos to come on the works around Lazar, especially up here in Lazar 1800. I'm taking a walk down to the main station today to take the chairlift up and basically go round and walk back down. I want to see the objective today is just to see the arrival point of the new zip wire, the Tyrolean. So, uh, taking the little walk down, little path down, hopefully the weather's going to be okay, not too sure. But anyway, here's the video. This is a beautiful walk down and obviously some stuff going on in the way of works and whatever. But, uh, lose it between 1800 and 1650, obviously 150 metres, about, about 500 feet in altitude. And yeah, really nice walk down, sometimes a good stagger back in the evenings and uh, quite a safe place to do so, obviously it's in the mountains but apart from that, as you can see it's well lit up as well with the lights down the side of the pathway here. So okay, onward and down to the left. So into the bike zone here, as I say lunchtime so the lifts aren't quite so busy. Guys going up on bikes and stuff. Hello! <laughs> and uh, the other lift operational over there as well. So uh, yeah, just to take a little walk down the side of where the bikes go here and get this guy. Okay, so usual procedure here, the old lift pass ready to go, non-contact, everything's good to go. Okay, so backpack off, all the straps secured, through the pass lift, bonjour. Bonjour. Wait for the little barrier thing to open. Bonjour, merci. Wait for my taxi to arrive. sit down in the middle so it doesn't swing around. Right. And we accelerate and off we go. Shaky! <laughs> and about here, just ahead of us here, there's a couple of yumps that they do on a track on the way down couple of guys sitting waiting. They usually pile up and gather before these, do their stunts and then gather afterwards and have a little chin wag on what was all about. Now where I'm heading is uh, almost straight ahead of us here, uh, just to the right that you can see La Roche up there. If I've got that wrong I'll put an arrow in in the edit. But uh, the lift will take me up to just below there. And I just want to see what sort of stuff's going on there. If you uh, looked, I did a recent video, I think it was yesterday, can't remember, time is irrelevant just now, and uh, I was up the other end at the departure point, so I'm going to do uh, a little uh, look around up here and see what the arrival point is all about. I did zoom in on it, but obviously you can't really look around from uh, almost two kilometres away. So, uh, destination is up here somewhere. Hey, round about there somewhere. We'll go. I'm just passing by. You can just see the top, so the top of the works up, up over to the right here, just above uh, Lazar 1800. And uh, going up to about 1900 metres. And on the right here, we have the restaurant, um, the Chalet des Fontaines which is featured in a couple of videos. I'll, I'll put a link up in the top right of your screen now of uh, a wintertime visit I did with some spectacular skiing after. And uh, yeah, it's lunchtime, I'm a bit hungry, a bit thirsty, so I'll maybe pop in there on the way down and have a little uh, snack before I do the walk back down home. This here is a tractor that uh, is loaded up with water 
spraying water everywhere to keep the dust levels down just in passing and get myself ready make sure all my straps aren't tied up in the chair here and stuff and get ready for arriving in the, the top of the the lift here same as down the bottom but the other way around here the lift comes in and it slows down so just slowing down now get the bar up and we've arrived straps are clear quick walk to the right job's done just arrived and all zoned off the the works and stuff and uh, I'm pretty sure that this is going to be the arrival point for the new six-seater lift just next door to this one now this uh, next lift which takes you right up to the very very top will be operational next week so there'll be a few adventures on that one too pretty spectacular beautiful run up with scenery like this the melt of the snow a quick mention that on the lifts here summer and winter there are actually toolkits uh, chained up to the wall here for repairing ski equipment bike equipment or whatever and uh, very useful especially if you end up breaking something or just a uh, temporary repair for something just to get you back down the mountain although there is the option to get back down the mountain by the chairlift quick view check before I depart off of that one looking down the valley to Ombrung our mountain down uh, below 1100 meters in altitude below us here and bathed in a bit of sunshine down there now the weather coming from that direction we look semi okay just now, although this uh, black cloud, I don't know. We'll just need to see. Anyway, that's uh, looking over towards the Ekran, looking north again, just straight ahead of us here. That cloud isn't a threat, it's on its way past to the right of us here. And just looking back, sort of up the way, and we'll find the two cables, hopefully, over here zip wire on the left and the helicopter alert wire 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 on the right and I would assume as well with little coil things on it there's probably a bit of lightning protection on it as well not too sure but this uh, right above me here if I can follow it I don't know but I'll resume over here where we're going will be there. Just starting at the end of the wire, these are the fixings and the pylon that takes the stress and strain of the wire. You can see the fixings up here, 12 huge bolts that hold uh, this cable entering in from the left there. <laughs> it's a pretty healthy piece of kit. And then of course the wire that uh, extends away up to the departure point way ahead. I'll come back to that in a second. Up here something in the way of uh, I think this is something to do with the braking system there's a very uh, complicated braking system that goes in here very similar to what you see on aircraft carriers for aircraft arriving and happens just after you come through this point here on the wire so I'll take a wander over here and we'll have a closer look and you can hear the wind rattling the wire Well, it is 1.8 kilometres long. <laughs> and the hut, that wasn't here last time I was up. So have a look at uh, recent videos I've done on this, uh, on the progress of what's going on up here. Obviously diggers about and stuff, so stuff's still going on. But this is obviously the control that happens here in the building there. So we're right in the heart of the forest here, just above uh, La Roche, the rock that is uh, now to our left and this is the arrival point the braking system happens after this uh, double pylon thing now here's a challenge see if I can follow the wires quite easy now with the security the helicopter security wire to the right uh, to follow it up it's a lot easier to follow follow that with all its white and red balls and stuff 
and it's all going away, way, way up there over the forest and up to the restaurant where I was yesterday or day before yesterday, whenever it was, day before yesterday, sorry and uh, I had a look from there down to here so you can see both sides now if you look back on that video I'll put a link in again up to the top right of your screen now 1.8 kilometers long 340 meters drop maximum speed 140 kilometers per hour and I'm actually standing in the braking zone that will be installed uh, before it's ready to go so here I'm standing on the control point, the, the fixing for the second wire, the security wire and off it goes up there so there's the latest update on the Tyrolean wire 10 days before it's supposed to fire up or about 10, 11, 12 days or so almost two weeks so hopefully the audio's picking this up obviously I've got to make a little bit of a, a volume in my voice as it were but anyway until the next video keep subscribing you won't miss out on all the future stuff I'm going to be doing on this and all the rest of the stuff that's going on around the, the resort of Les Or. so until the next time as I say keep subscribing and until the next one ciao Just taken a, a black bike run that's closed just now down, it's a, a shorter trip down at the back of La Roche here and look at the colours that you got here just incredible we got pinks we got purples where are they? there <laughs> we got yellows we've got green obviously just a a massive multitude of colors and what a beautiful place.